guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 10 of Yamada Kun. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I can. <laughs> I'd die. I died and died and died in that moment. No. <laughs> okay, yeah, but he is currently with a girl right now. Like always, just as much with the rest of us. Be sleep. It's really just called get good. You either have it or you don't.
Well, no. Yeah. No. <laughs> Super awkward now. <laughs> Mm hmm Once you said that, you just broke her heart. But still, you broke her heart. Wouldn't it be funny if it's her? But you fall for him just as much as anyone else did. Poor baby. See, that's the point when I would literally rush her to the hospital or at least an emergency clinic. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, baby, he here. You just don't know it. You feel like you're dreaming right now. Uh. 
our home. No, she had Yamada's. <laughs> no, no, I think she's home. Aww. <laughs> yeah. Probably still kind of bad, but not as bad. right Mm-hmm. Or even y'all arguing. 
Oh my god, my fucking throat. Good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you cutie patootie. Oh my god. <laughs> No. Sir. Bye. Oh my god. This is a whole episode about them. So good. 10 out of 10. Oh my god. They're so fucking cute. The fact is that, like, okay, number one, he took her to the clinic. Oh my god. Because, you know, I, I can't say for most guys and such. It depends probably on the guy. Like, you know, I, I love the fact that, you know, in a relationship, there are some, not all. Some guys are very nurturing to their significant others. Same thing with some girls too as well, where if someone is truly sick, you are literally taking care of them. Like 50 out of 50, you might be canceling your day off. Excuse me, your day at work. 
<laughs> just to help them. Or if you have to go to work, you give the medicine before you go to work, and then, you know, you come back home, and you'd be like, hey, how are you feeling? You okay? da 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 or, like, you know, when your parents used to take care of you or when you're currently taking care of your parents sometimes, you know, especially when we were all in the pandemic and if somebody got sick, you know, we had to take care of them and such. I had to do that several times with my mom. And then, lo and behold, I got sick and she had to do the same thing with me. But it's sweet. Like, you know, you do my it. But seriously, the tension between these two. Damn. You don't want him to go. Oh, it surely is, babe. <laughs> oh. That's a good boyfriend, even though they ain't together yet. Oh my god! Ah! That was too cute. The fact that she literally, like, grabbed his jacket. And she's just like, I don't want him to go. Like, oh, it's so freaking cute. Like, oh. But the fact is, like, this boy is literally going back to school, even though he literally got almost, like, little to nothing. <laughs> <laughs> out of sleep just like me today because like okay I went to bed about 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning so I had of course I had things to do and then ate dinner really late watched my favorite movie twice tried to watch another movie I ended up messing up and I was like screw it I'm just gonna go watch YouTube instantly fell asleep within like the first 5-10 minutes of watching the long 4 hour video and then I wake up and I see that like it's already like 7 a.m. And I'm like, oh God, I gotta get up. <laughs> but like seriously, he, he's super sweet to like literally take her to the clinic and such because, excuse me, um, I think, yeah, in, in Momo's situation, I think she would have probably did something. Uh, I think anyone, if it was someone else other than Yamada, they still would have done something. But I think the impact, because of the fact is, she does have a crush on Yamada, it, it's completely different. And the fact is, we're going into another week of them slowly but surely realizing their feelings towards each other. And that eventually, we hope, because I think we have, like, what, three more episodes left with this show before we're done? Um... Hopefully, they're gonna move on to the next step in date. I mean, this is the biggest thing I even think. I think I said this when I watched the first episode. Um, I'm okay with them, like, ending this show, but getting a second season where it's like, oh, we're gonna still continue the slow burn of the relationship and take its time for them to finally date instead of coming to the last episode of the season and then instantly having them date. Now, the girl who obviously has feelings for Yamada, I, I get her, I truly understand her because I think we've all, guy or girl, we've all been in that position where we are best friends with a guy and at first we're, 
or guy or girl, and it's just platonic. We're just friends. But slowly but surely, one of you, doesn't matter who, but one of you starts catching feelings towards that opposite person. And the biggest issue that you have when you're spending time with them is have they truly met someone that they're wanting to show off and, you know, introduce to you and stuff because you feel like every single time when you want to say something to them and say, hey, I like you, I want to date you, or I want to move on in the next step of our relationship, or how some people say, I want to ruin our friendship and such, um... Sometimes it can work and sometimes it doesn't. And sometimes you feel like you're a little too late and you feel like you are regretting everything. Now, for me, have I personally had that? Once. I will say once. And that was in high school. And that was really it. Most of the guys, guy friends that I am with, I'm friends with now, I am like, we cool and such. Um, I, I've just learned... <laughs> For the, <laughs> maybe like the last year of like being friends with like my guy YouTuber friends and then my other friends and social media is like that. Woo, I thought, you know, once again, girl drama was bad. Guy drama is so much worse in my opinion, depending on the situation. That is all I will say about that because the shit that I like saw in the last, what, 24 hours bruh not even the last the last week from last sunday to today i mean bruh it's nuts and i'm like we arguing over this i, I thought us females we, we was nuts but it is what it is at the end of the day but other than that guys that is my reaction to be towards episode 10 of yamnakun if you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day for the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 11. Bye, guys.